Chris here again to show you another stack of comic books. Um, and it's probably going to be my last stack for a little while. Uh, <laughs> so I better make these last. Um, just, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that's uh, happening in the year. Increase in taxes and all this kind of jazz is just really frustrating. It kind of put me behind. So it's probably going to be, well, maybe another three weeks before I can actually... Uh, end up ordering some more books, so then by then I'll be a month behind <laughs> again, so I'm just starting to get catch up, and then I'm going to be another month another month behind again, so, um, but got a cool stack to show you, I think, some pretty good pickups. Um, some I've read, some I haven't, so, uh, the ones I have read, I've, I'll show you at the bottom of my stack here, but, uh, BPRD, The Dead Remembered, this is the third part of um, the Liz Sherman story, um, haven't read it yet, but the other two issues I have, uh, they were good, and just BPRD, anything from Hellboy, and, um, BPRD is always really good, um, you can never ever say anything wrong about BPRD, you just never really can, it's either, there it's kind of got a good plateau, um, in the Hellboy and BPRD, and it just, you just ride it, and then it kind of goes up, I mean, there's, there's never really any huge dips, um, so, yeah, I can never go wrong picking them up. Um, series I've been really enjoying. Um, this is a pretty cool cover. FF issue number five. Yeah, it's all really interesting. I'm really excited to keep reading this series. I mean, Hickman just really keeps me um, interested in uh, in this series. And it looks like... I know there's already issue number six out with Black Bolt on the cover. But this actually looks like Black Bolt as well. If you see right here in the drawing, it looks kind of like the fans from his uh, from his outfit under the arms. So yeah, it's kind of really neat. That's what it looks like to me. Anyways. But yeah, really cool. FF is awesome. Ah, uh, Incredible Hulk 631, part of the Monster Part 2. I haven't even read Part 1 yet, but I do have it. Uh, really good looking cover though. Um, it might be just a fun, crazy tale, but I don't know. Hulk's right now for me is it's kind of there. It's enjoyable, but it's a little flat line a little bit. It's just there, you know. It's kind of forgettable at the moment, I think. Uh, one that I'm having a lot of fun with, and I've had fun with since the beginning, is Hulk. Uh, reading Thunderbolt Ross is uh, been pretty enjoyable. Um, this one, I don't know if this is a... Oh, what's coming next? I can't remember. I can't remember what's coming next. But anyways, I don't know, the Planet Hulk stuff that happened was pretty good, so... It's just going to continue to be an enjoyable, enjoyable read for this stuff. Oh, um... Yeah, what was I saying? The, I'm looking forward to the... Um, Revenge of Watu, uh, to see what's what's happening with him, and they keep they're slowly building that story up, um, and we're getting to it, so uh, that's going to be really cool when they finally do come to that. Uh, fabulous series, and always some great covers. Issue number eleven of Wolverine, really good, enjoyable. I mean, nothing wrong with with this series really yet. Um, I haven't read this one either yet. Amazing cover, 539 of Uncanny X-Men. Just really, really sweet Wolverine cover. I'm not even sure who done it. I haven't even opened it yet, so. It'd be a really cool cover. Let's go look. I recognize the artist, but I can't. I can't name it right now. Let's go up there. Um, really, really goofy cover. A lot of people like this one, but I don't know. It's there. It's kind of goofy to me. Uh, X-Men issue 14. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a good read, but... I don't know. Goofy, goofy cover. I can't remember whether there was a variant or not. And the variant I probably would have picked up if I had more money. I think there was a variant. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, so... Fear Itself tie-ins. I don't know, Secret Avengers itself, uh, Fear Itself, this is issue number 14, um, I haven't read it yet, art, uh, on the cover, of course, is really nice, Audi Um, but the only thing I'm, I don't know, that 
this series, I'm not sure if it's going to end for me or not, because now, knowing that Captain America is back, um, you know, back in the suit, um, and I'll give you quick thoughts on that later, <clears throat> but if he's going to continue to be in the Captain America suit and not really be Commander Rogers, um, I've been seeing Nick Fury in the Fear Itself stuff, so I wonder if Nick Fury's going to end up coming back. Um, you know, and I've been really enjoying Steve Rogers as Commander Rogers and wearing that really cool outfit that he has, so... And if he's not going to really be in the Secret Avengers, I'm going to drop it. That's the only reason I was reading it. Steve Rogers, um, Commander Steve Rogers, is, was the stuff I was really wanting to read. So if he's not going to be in it, not really going to wear um, his Commander Rogers outfit, I'm going to drop the title. Fear Itself, Uncanny X-Force, uh, one of three. Uh, nice artwork, that's for sure. Uh, again, haven't read this one or opened it up yet, but yeah. Really cool. I think that's going to be a really awesome read. Um, I love the team, so really, really good. Uh, I'm not sure how this one's going to go, but I enjoy Wolverine, and I enjoy um, him having his girlfriend, Melita. Some pretty good interaction in the past that I've seen from them. It's really cool. So this is uh, one of three. Uh, and I recognize the cover. Akuna, yeah. There you go, Akuna cover. So it should be pretty cool. I've heard some good things about it, but... Uh, We'll wait and see and how it, uh, yeah, how I read it, see if it's really good for me. Uh, this one I'm really looking forward to uh, reading 540 of Uncanny, um, Uncanny, Uncanny X-Men. Uh, wow, this, that's a great cover. Just going to be amazing, I think. A Asgardian, you know, hammer-powered um, juggernaut. <laughs> that sounds just insane. You know, Juggernaut's already a character that's, you know, unstoppable. So him having a hammer is going to be a really, really crazy fight. I'm just kind of pumped to see that one. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, okay, getting into some that I have read. Um, don't need to tell you guys much about it. Most of you guys already read it, already know about it and that. But it's book four of Fear Itself. Um, and again, I'm getting just all the regular covers. Because um, just this setup of Fear Itself covers I, I really enjoy. Um, and the... Very covers I've seen aren't that spectacular to me. Um, really good artwork, but not that spectacular that I really have to get them. So I enjoy just regular covers. Um, but of course, as most people know, this is the issue where Captain America, Steve Rogers, suits up again. Um, the event, the book itself was pretty good, but just the moments, you know, no, knowing now that Bucky is dead and he got taken out by Sin. Uh, it was kind of a good way for him to go a little bit, but a lot of people are kind of mad that Bucky is gone. Um, and I was really enjoying him being Captain America. Um, it sucks that he's gone now and dead. And um, I don't know, It's a lot of people are saying it's kind of forced um, for Captain America being back into the costume. And of course, since this movie coming out, it does feel like that a little bit. Um, and it's, when I read this one, I don't mind Steve coming back. But the way it was done, it was just way too quick, and it was just, you know, they one page they showed a uh, panel of Bucky dead, he's laying on the table, that's that, and then, you know, after they'll they'll skip to a page where um, Captain America, he's sitting there, he's suited up. You don't even see anything in between that. He's just suited up. Okay, let's go. What did I miss, Avengers? Um, it was just so quick and just put out there. He's back in a suit, and um, why? Why does he have to put on that suit again right now? I mean, why? Why? <laughs> his, his buddy Bucky there just died, and he has to put on the suit that right away. Is Bucky seems seem to be uh, so disposable. Um, so, it's... Wow. <laughs> you know, people were kind of like really shocked, you know, when first Steve Rogers was supposed to be dead. Then some awesome writing by Brubaker to um, bring in Bucky. And then a story where Captain America returns... That was all good. It had its, I don't know, um, bumps in that story for Cap's return. Um, but that all turned out really well. He didn't take up the mantle. He became Com Commander Rogers. And Bucky continued being Captain. That was really, really awesome. But this return for him back into the costume is... Uh, man. Just kind of bleh a little bit. But uh, hopefully we all get over that and 
and have fun with the new Captain America series. Oh yeah, a few that I have read. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 664. Really awesome, I think. Spider-Man stuff here with Anti-Venom. I was really excited to read it. Um, and Eddie Brock. I mean, Spider-Man and Eddie Brock fighting. And of course, um, Spider-Man thinking he's a bad guy. And they're both kind of trying to race to save Betty. And, <laughs> you know, Brock's trying to tell him, you know, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to do good. You know, all this kind of stuff. And and Spider-Man's kind of being a bit of a douche, you know. <laughs> of course, you know, you're reading all what's happening, and you know, come on, Brock's just trying to help, man! Just let him do his thing! Um, but of course, Spider-Man's just not, you know, very narrow-minded when he comes to uh, Eddie Brock. Um, so, and, and Brock really ends up being the hero in this one, exposing um, Mr. Negative, um, his alter ego is Martin Lee, and kind of brings him down, so it was really, really cool. I mean, at the end, um, a lot of struggles for Brock, but he ends up being the hero at the end. That was really, really cool, I think. Really cool. Um, this one, Carnage, issue 5 of 5. Great story, great art. I mean, uh, it's by Wells and Crane. Um, just amazing art. And this one is a great series. I have not actually seen it in many of your guys' videos um, for pickups. Um, this came out a little while ago, but um, I think I really haven't seen anybody picking this one up or showing it, but really awesome. The return of um, Carnage, great battle between, you know, with Spider-Man and Iron Man, um, and some wicked stuff, wicked stuff that uh, Cassidy does, and um, in this one there's also another, um, uh, another symbiote, that doctor who had got her arm ripped off, and she had that um, prosthetic that also had, um, um, Carnage DNA in it, um, it ends up spawning and um, it creates a new symbiote on her. So, and that one, uh, that lady ends up being called Scorn and she takes out um, Shriek. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. So, Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. <laughs> so, that was kind of neat. <coughs> and of course, Cassidy, he ends up getting away though at the end. Um, He's kind of really smart and psycho, though. Um, but he gets away, and then at the end they advertise a, a return of, another return of Cassie, and he's planning something big. Um, and I, I like to see uh, Doppelganger with him at the end, too, so that was pretty cool. Really cool stuff. So looking forward to the uh, next stuff there. Uh, Venom uh, by Remender and Moore is on the art again. Um, really good series. I mean, a lot of people are reading this one. Everybody's saying it's enjoyable. It is true, it's just awesome, great stuff, and, you know, uh, Flash has got to do what he's got to do, and he makes things happen, and it's just really sweet comic, just loving it. Um, in this one, I've mentioned in the past before how Tony Moore's art uh, in some areas have seemed a little unfinished, a little sloppy in some scenes. Um, he really seems to kind of clean it up in this one a little bit, I noticed. Still, great artwork, but... Uh, um, some stuff doesn't look as muddy as I've seen in um, some past issues, but really darn good, really good. Um, out of my favorite stuff so far that I've read, besides the Fear and Self title, um, all the uh, Venom and Carnage and all the symbiote stuff was just amazing. Um, so in another one, many of you guys have read, um, and it's another great thing, Flashpoint, issue 3 of 5. Uh, Project Superman revealed another really great, awesome comic. I mean, Flashpoint. I'm I'm enjoying it so much. I mean, the writers, um, Jeff Johns, uh, Andy Kubert doing the art. It's been really great. Every Flash issue I have read has been really enjoyable. Um, and me, you know, not being uh, not much of a DC, but I mean, it's it shows how good of writing is that somebody who's not really into the universe doesn't know much. I, mean, I know enough. I mean, to enjoy the the character, but I mean where I'm so easily able to jump into the universe um, and just get on board and be excited and just pumped about everything that's happening that shows you it's really unique, it's really amazing writing when you can write a tale like that somebody that's, you know, that where none of the past really matters as much um, but it gets you up to speed, you know, just really um, intelligent writing and that, and that is really enjoyable. And of course this one, they go find Batman gets on board, well he helps Barry Allen get his powers back. That was a really cool moment. That was really cool. 
Um, and uh, when he gets his powers back, he ends up saving Batman from falling off a roof. Um, so then they go get Cyborg's help to go get, go find Superman um, to get them to try to help him. So that was really kind of cool seeing this little uh, this emaciated looking um, kal -El. That was really neat. So the next one should be really cool. I want to see the return of um, Superman in this and see him, how the sun and how he gets stronger uh, when he's finally out in the sun for a while longer. It's going to be really cool. Flashpoint is pretty cool. Um, and, you know, reading Flashpoint is about the only thing that's going to make me want to um, pick up some of the uh, new stuff at relaunch. It might not be Flash stuff I'll get, but um, it is. It's holding me in there. It's keeping me interested enough that I... It's going to make me want to get a couple more uh, DC issues. So, really cool. Really happy with uh, what I've read, and hopefully I'll be happy with the rest of the stack. Okay, so that's about that, you guys. <laughs> I've mumbled on uh, uh, long enough. But there's one more issue, as you, pr as you probably saw in the beginning of this video. Um, one more book that shipped with this lot um, that I'm going to show you, but I'm going to read that one separately and show that to you guys separately. I think you guys will. It's a really cool book, really cool issue. Um, it's a back issue from a while ago. Um, I think you guys will really like it. So once I have a chance to read it, I'll show it to you guys and talk to you guys about it. So that's about that, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.